Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how we can classify 1000 images using Inception V3 pre-trained CNN model using Keras. Keras is one of the deep learning frameworks which is widely used by the researchers because of its simplicity. And it's an API because it uses TensorFlow as backend. And again, it's free and open source just like TensorFlow, Torch and other frameworks. And the best thing about this is the coding is very simpler. There are two ways to build deep learning models when you're using Keras. One is uh, sequential, where you keep stacking the layers one after the other. And the second one is a functional API. For this exercise, I'll be using JupyterLab, which is a web-based uh, Python environment. And this is a snapshot of uh, the notebook. And uh, first step is I need to import the necessary modules. So I need Keras. I need NumPy to handle multidimensional arrays. And I need TensorFlow. TensorFlow anyway, you know, Keras uses it as a backend. And so I need to download the TensorFlow model file corresponding to Inception V3 from a repository called as TensorFlow Hub. So this TensorFlow Hub has the model files of uh, various CNN models so that you can freely download and then you can use it. So this TensorFlow file will be downloaded from this. So in order to download that, I need a module called as TensorFlow Hub. If it is not installed, you can also install using this command on your Jupyter Notebook. Okay, so this is the command you can use. Otherwise, you can through command prompt or conda prompt, you will be able to download, you will, you will be able to install it. So once this is installed, now since uh, this was not installed earlier, so this command is there. And after that, you can import TensorFlow Hub. And uh, we need to use a test image for classification. So in order to handle this image, in order to open or display the image, we need a Python image library. You can also use a computer vision library, CV2, can be used here. But a PAL library is much better. Okay, so these are the modules we need and that will be imported. Step two is you need to load the pre-trained Inception V3 TensorFlow model from TensorFlow Hub. Okay, so as I mentioned, TensorFlow Hub is a repository where you will find Inception V3 TensorFlow graph. Okay, and this is the URL. And you need to convert that into a Keras classifier, Keras uh, model. And for that, you can use this built-in command. Okay, and uh, you need to give the URL for this. Either you can uh, save it in a local folder. Okay, so you can, you can go to this uh, particular URL and you can download the classifier for Inception V3 and then you can use it. And the first, first input argument is this classifier URL and the second one, the input shape of the test image. Okay, and for Inception V3, 299 by 299 this is the image size with uh, it's a color image with three channels in this exercise we are not going to perform any transfer learning so the keras model already has a frozen weights okay so weights corresponding to image net uh, you know data set so we will directly use that and we just have to feed the test image to it and check for the output label, okay? And for that, we need the input image, we need the test uh, image, okay? So this is the image, which I have it in the global folder, and I will use the PAL library function image dot open to open this file. And I need to resize this size to 299 by 299 because Inception V3 model requires 299 by 299 size, okay? So you can also display it just by typing uh, this particular variable. Then you need to pre-process it. You need to you know, convert the image pixel value 
to between zero and one. Okay, so image pixel value ranges from zero to two fifty five, and that has to be normalized between zero and one. So this is done by using this particular numpy command. So this will be the dimension of the image which we have just read and normalized it. So this step is called as pre-processing. Now after the pre-processing, we need to predict the scores. Inception V3 can predict 1001 image classes and one of the class is background or other class that we usually we ignore it. So we say that it can you know uh, classify 1000 images okay so in order to predict that you know to predict the scores so we have a command called as classify.predict classifier is the name of the keras model which already we have created and classifier.predict and the input will be the image which we have processed pre-processed and that image is fed here with an extra axis so that the dimension will be like this okay and we get output argument which is a result and this result will have 1001 element and it's a row vector with 1001 element each element indicates a score predicted score for this image so only one of the score will be the highest one you need to determine the index of that particular score in 1001 so if you see here the maximum score is corresponding to 89th index okay so that's going to become our predicted class okay now we want to know what is the name of that class okay so for that we need a file called image net labels.txt and this file also can be downloaded from tensorflow you can download it from this uh, image net labels txt this url is given here okay and this will have 1000 names and you can just map this 89 with the name of the label and thus you can get a class name okay so that's a mechow it's a name of a parent that means it classifies properly okay so classifier is working perfectly there are two ways to launch jupyter lab so one is you can launch it from your Anaconda prompt, just type Jupyter space lab and press enter. And the second uh, method is you can also launch it from Anaconda navigator. Uh, so if you want to know how to install Anaconda, you can watch my other video. There's a separate video I have posted, which explains you the installation procedure for Anaconda and TensorFlow. So this is the this is the home page of Jupyter lab. As you can see, the Jupyter lab has a notebook within it and then you can also if you want to install any other package let us say keras or other package you can install using this terminal uh, so you can install using pip command or a conda command also so this is the code which i already explained to you about the inception v3 classifier for classifying 1000 images from imagenet data set so this is the the first part of the code importing the necessary modules then download the classifier inception classifier from tensorflow hub then build the keras classifier using sequential then after that read the test image and then pre-process the test image predict the score output score and after that you can predict the label or the class name here there is no training involved because uh, we are di uh, directly using a pre-trained CNN model for classification purpose. So this is the Jupyter Lab. So I recommend you use uh, Jupyter Lab. As you can see, when you use Jupyter Lab, it has a notebook within it. So advantage of notebook is each cell can be executed uh, without affecting other part of the code. For example, this part of the code can be executed without affecting other part of the code. You can also access any of the folders from here. So that's the advantage of it.